And uh, we shall go. So, this is my thingy. This is Bing Bong the Wise. Uh, I should let you all vote on that, maybe. Because. Yes, I made a human. I mean, th that happens. Anyway. Um, it. So, we could actually rename him to Bing Bong the Magical Cat because I realize. Cat is not a slur against gadgets in this game. I mean, I, I wanted to avoid that so players would not be all up my neck, even though everybody, I mean, more OP players. Th th that's Argonians who will absolutely wreck your shit if you call them a lizard. But gadget, they go with cat stuff all the time. So I, we could do that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a poll on myself actually, and the other thing, now that's not up to discussion, I realized that starting in Northern Elsewhere was not a good idea at all. Um, so... The deal with that is that you can start in areas that are not the starter area, but that's really an option for players who want to get to, the, to veteran players who want to get to the new stuff with a new character and like this is not a good thing for a new player this is not a good thing to introduce the story it's just it just makes things a whole mess uh, we can fix that and we will fix that and that involves playing the other tutorial which still exists and is just the first step of the main story, quote unquote, of the game. And at the end of that bit, we will automatically be sent to our packed uh, starting area. So that's it. And it's a really good thing because I realized that that one guy uh, that I loved a lot on a bit of story from a DLC uh, is actually the guy who greets us straight out on the start of the. Uh, Admiral Dominion Pact, uh, Admiral Dominion um, Alliance story. So, that said, let us go and let us actually do one thing um, in Northern as well, and that is lower lowering the volume. Yes, Bing Bong is a flopper, a koi fish flopper. Uh, so for the story, for people who have not been there, uh, I mean, especially Sorcier Modi, who I don't think I know you, <laughs> and I don't think you were on my server, on Discord server, when I, when we, we together made Bing Bong. <coughs> I could make Bing Bong the flopper, his name. That's a good idea, Emmy. Good idea you were not having, but good idea, Emmy. So yeah, Bing Bong. Uh, th I let people vote on him. We ended up with a uh, destruction staff wielding Kajit Dragon Knight, which is um, a ridiculous concept by any measure. So, I call him Bing Bong, because legends say that he came from the moon, from one of the two moons, uh, but abruptly forgot how to stay on the moon and fe fell down to earth, hitting his head on everything he could hit his head on on the way. Uh, 
and that's why he was called Ming Bong. I'm hearing troubling rumors about Ash and Scar. Uh, that's why he's a bit peculiar. I guess I can mark visiting there off my list. So ah, before yes. heading the off to the thing. Yes, I, I, no, I, I don't care about what you're talking about that on that plague. So, before... Oh my god, it's annoying. Just... <sighs> shut up. I'm trying to talk here. More likely a necromancer seeks to control the undead, yes, not stop them. This one sees where your doubts spring from, most assuredly. Okay. I share them. Are you done? Okay, thank you. So, before hacking off to yet another weird dimensional island, uh, we are going to get our free apartment, because bing pong. So there was a free apartment in the area, and we are getting the free apartment because they were calling for help actually. Uh, and I'm doing that on stream because I find the dialogue pretty funny. I did that on my main. You can do that with each character. So. You have a look about you, some sort of quality that's rare to find. And trust me, I'm never wrong about these sort of things. Can I interest you in a room at the local inn? Actually, we're not wrong. Off to a great start, are we not? A room at the local inn? Look, empty rooms are just bad for business. The upkeep alone costs me more than the place is worth. But I think we can come to a sort of arrangement. And not the sort of arrangement that involves a few drinks, let me be clear about that. What sort of arrangement? I need someone to improve the reputation of my properties. A hero type who people look up to. And I have a feeling about you. You've done something great and are probably on the way to do something greater. Seems like we can help each other here. Okay, so buzz, because I'm gonna bring up the volume. Normally that should affect you too. And uh, see, this is one of the things that make it an issue to start in Northern as well. Nothing in the game is, man is made to handle that sort of stuff. <coughs> So let's go. I'm interested for all the details. Yeah, all right. Details. I can see how this might be a bit sketchy, but don't worry. The in room is well kept, conveniently located. I know you adventuring types wanting a home in every town. This would be a nice addition to your holdings. There has to be a catch. What is it? No catch. I just need someone to freshen up my image. And my gut tells me you're the one to do that. As long as you're not planning on turning it into a skooma den or an <gasps> outlaw's refuge, the room is all yours. Racism! I'm a Kajit, so of course I'm gonna turn it into a skooma den. That's outrageous. So, with a legal reason, I can do whatever I want with the place. I should learn to bing bongify the dialogues because bing bong doesn't know all those words. <laughs> oh sure, you can set up some crafting stations, house your pets, display any treasures or trophies you've come upon in your adventures. Hey, you can even set up a target dummy to practice combat. Just don't demolish the place, and we're good. All right, I accept your offer. Excellent. You won't regret this decision, I swear. Here's the deed and key to the room. Took me a while, but I finally was able to take them back from the last tenant. Required more time in the sewers than I had hoped for, but hey, that's business. That's great, but she did not mention the potential um, Daedra cult stuff that might have been involved with the last tenant. I remember something like that. Maybe it was in the in the pamphlet or something. Hope you know. the room is to your liking. Oh. With your reputation, I'm sure you shouldn't have any trouble with the neighbors. If you do, remember death threats oh, okay, are not that the Had a spot of trouble when my last tenant started sending those out. Anything else I should keep in mind? No, nope, just make yourself at home. Spruce things up a bit. 
Honestly, I can't wait to see how you arrange the place. Hopefully, you'll end up with a few less Daedric shrines than another former tenant of mine. Like zero. Zero is a good number. <laughs> now, what's, what's extremely funny to me right now is that these are both the same, but you can choose to lie about, to it to, for it to be a lie or not. Of course, this is not a lie. What if Ping Bong was all about doing magic rays or stuff like that because he was a worshipper of Azura of the Moon? Hmm. I don't know, but he doesn't do that anymore. He doesn't even remember who Azura is. Oh, what a relief. I can't tell you how hard it is to wash blood stains off of cobble floors, <laughs> but that's not even the worst of it. I've had tenants cram their rooms with the wildest things. Mounts, foliage, assistants. I mean, it's an in room. Do you own the place? I own this and several other properties throughout Tamriel. It pays to diversify. Of course, that means I've got to look out for a variety of troubles, too. But hey, no one ever said the real estate business was easy. I guess that's fair. I have received a collectible. Oh, hi. Collections can be viewed with you. Okay, I don't care about that. Y uh, I mean, I can. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do that. A sugar bowl suit. Okay, yes. These are account wide, so that's kind of why I was. I wanted to do this because I could really use an in here um, with my other character. Anyway, for now, we shall go to. Wait. Oh, wait, where is it that we go again? I have to do the general location. Okay, okay, okay. So. Oh, it's already in the library. I don't care. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Okay. No, before we depart to the magical island thing, um, I need to remember where is the right one anyway. Good work, good merchant. Oh yeah, it would be Kanathi Roost. Kanathi's Roost. Or a shrine. Wait, isn't that the one? Mistral. Wait. Okay, let me just check something real quick so I can be sure because that, that that's a wrong alliance for me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, no. That's where we start the journey. That's not where we go. Okay, now I know what to do. The uh, rage. Uh, I'll be hard rage. Oh, it's in Oridan. Right then. So I was not entirely wrong. We start. We are, we were meant to start at Kennedy Roost, but we we shall we will go to Arid. Okay, okay, got a shrine. Okay, what happened? We we got another notification. What's up with that? Uh. It's part of the. Okay, I'm confused. You know how long I've been looking for you. Uh, no, I don't know, and I frankly don't care. Antiquity. Oh. I married the. Okay, okay, so it is. Only wife. What the? What is the local? Uh. Anyway. Okay. 
So, regaining our bearing. Okay, no, 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 no. There's gonna be a hooded lady around here normally. You there. No, like Concordia, I don't care about. No. Who did figure it? Yeah. Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. What does your benefactor want? If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. Makes sense. Where can I find them? A passenger cabin in the interim suitor down at the docks. Down Do the docks. Down. I seek them out. Yay. And we are going to talk to the benefactor. Okay. Okay. Hmm. First, we are gonna go to the market. Okay, first of all, okay, so they are here to talk to the benefactor. And there's the markets on the way. No, general goods. Stick with more. Pack merchant. Pack merchant. So I'm gonna. Go to the pack merchant, which I could have done off stream actually, to be fair. But I'm gonna. Oh, but it's about. Okay, I'm not gonna run after this. Because anyway, it's gonna be a bit difficult to manage. Oh, I didn't set up a thing to. Uh, set skill points. Things have been a bit messy on my end. Oh, it's inside. Okay. Okay, inside means I. So that's just a merchant. Pack, pack, pack merchant. Hi, sir. Pack merchant. You call that bad adequate? I don't call that adequate. Here, let me sell you something before we both get embarrassed. That's mean. But I will still buy you a backpack upgrade. You call that bad. Yes. Oh, I can't afford that because I don't have enough money at the moment. Huh. Oh yeah, I didn't calculate that. Getting all of these stable upgrades would melt my money so much. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? So anyway, now we shall go to Here you go talk to our benefactor. Why, oh, thank you. I didn't even know I had a benefactor. Wow, that's so nice. I just step in here and I already get a benefactor. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, and we get a very an entirely cosmetic dragon just popping over city major cities every now and then for fun. Traveler, a moment of your time. No. I must go and talk to my kind benefactor who popped out of ten, of nowhere. Okay, so everybody's gone. <laughs> That's so very cool because I wanted you to choose things, but okay. No, I'm gonna stay with this view. Hi, it's a benefactor. <coughs> what? Oops. I feel like these people are not very beneficial to us. I feel like these people are not really beneficial to us or anyone for that matter. Uh, I think I accidentally pressed a key during that scene because I don't remember all that. 
Oh. Yeah, I definitely had pressed a key or something accidentally. But wow, um, thanks for the trip to the Wailing Prison. Yeah, I can't mount in this location, but thank you, tutorial. So where the... Where the hell are we? Where the hell is this? Whoa there! Are you alright? The name's Lyris. I'm not entirely sure I'm alright. I feel like I get and got my cell ripped out of me. Fight left in you. You're going to need it. Um... Thanks. I might have some must have been the runt of the litter. Okay. Get weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Is it now? Oh. That, uh, okay. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. That does a lot of damage. Um Don't stop now. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. Okay, so what the hell is going on? I mean I know it was bad. Let's get out of here, my friend. I know your friend, Bob. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. So it was not Skuma. Okay. The prophet. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Help you do what? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Where do we go from here? These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. What are these Sentinels? In the Towers Foot of Eyes. Magical constructs created by Molag Val to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. Woefully practical. How can we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force? Yes, maybe. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Ball left the Sentinels unguarded. But this one has so many questions. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. Who is Prophet? He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. The past, the future. What is this place? What is Big Bong? You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well... There's no easy way to say it. You're dead. Then how are we having this conversation? I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. I mean, that's good for you. But if this one is dead, who killed this one? A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. What does that mean? It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Are you dead too? No, I wasn't sacrificed. The That's good for you. brought here conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. How can we rescue the Prophet? It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. 
We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Victors. Okay. We should keep moving. Oh really? The bleeding forge. Oh. Wait, that's nice. Knows of your escape. Hurry. I mean, that's good for him. The God of Schemes can see every part of Cold Harbor. We need to distract him. That makes sense. So many things. What the hell is that? Okay, there's a clan here over there. Try to be inconspicuous. <coughs> Just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. I guess. I'll keep watch. I mean. I'll be as inconspicuous as I can be while punching someone in the magical giant eye. Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the prophet's cell. Were keeping watch. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. I see nothing. So let us go. Uh, do we need to? Uh. Well, mm. oh, fool, you will never escape my realm. Permamora's wagon dump. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that seems about right. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. <laughs> Who's Cadwell? And also, um, who would have guessed that it would be a protection set up if something happened to the eyes? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. That sounds about right, but why is he here and not in the Shivering Isle? Like the plane of Shivergrad, the Daedric God of Madness. How can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Okay. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. All right. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. 
And Sir Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? They're trying to get inside to get inside the Prophet's cell. The door is sealed. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. How did we get through all of that? Rather cautious, I expect. <laughs> Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. There like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Was the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Hmm. Sorry. Well, thank you, Cadwell. That was helpful. Do oh. check in now and again, won't you? Yeah, um, as much as I could check in from having fled the plane entirely, but yeah. Tell me about yourself, Sir Cadwell. Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Okay, how long have you been here? Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go feral, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. How do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. Now, what do you know about the Prophet? An Imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyra says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. Yeah... about that... Okay. So you don't think there's a way get to get home? I hadn't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? That's fair. That's fair. Uh, well seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death trap. You better be careful. Yeah, sounds about right. Get that door open the sooner we can get out of here. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, and it's running in potato mode. I it's still kind of potato. It could be prettier if I had a better PC. Yeah, I mean, it's an entire series. Actually, I was, I meant to say that before we started the game. Uh, then I forgot, because I didn't write it down or something. Um, yeah, pretty advanced potatoes, but even then, like, among the um, settings, it's on the potato end of settings. But I, I didn't say it was not pretty. I do like the game visually, but I'm like, imagine the possibilities. Oh. But yeah, so, since among my viewers, not a lot uh, are very well acquainted with the entire series, and I mean, I myself have only played Skyrim and this right here, um, I was gonna do uh, some explanations, you know, about the series, but, um... Come get some more, you skeeving hawkers! Out of her insults, they are quite amazing. Okay, so what the hell is up with that? Okay, okay, okay. No. 
Eh. There's gonna be traps and stuff. We don't need to. Careful there. But yeah, so I'm gonna. Starting from next time. I just didn't quite entirely get ready yet. Ooh! Jeez. I was saying I didn't quite get ready yet for today, but I'm preparing a series and so next time I will tell you about um, the games that exists, that exist in the series at all. And after that I will, we will be talking about other stuff like Cosmogony, um, Urns. That one to fight the god of self punishment. <laughs> so fun. What is this? Oh, it's a centipede. That's why we can't collect that. Because the thing is, I realized um, this game. Um, well, that was a fail. Um, but this game kind of assumes we have a lot of knowledge of this series already. I had some because... Um, I have some because I have played Skyrim, so I know about stuff that isn't Skyrim? Okay, not yet. I'm gonna finish what I'm saying. So the prophet's cage should I be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Oh shut up. I didn't want to, but yeah. Uh I can wait a bit. So I knew about the Dwemer, which which is an ancient civilization that has vanished and we have therein the runes about everywhere because there's a lot of Dwemer runes in Skyrim. Uh, but then I came here and there were alien runes and I was like, where the hell is that? And the game just didn't take a moment to explain what these were whatsoever at all so that was nice I had to do a some reading a trick to outside himself. so the only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place I need to swap places with the prophet there's no no way believe me I wish there was but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart do you if Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Yeah, being Molnusel now, that's right. <laughs> Almost forgot. This one is ready when you are. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Cool. Do you want to see something pretty awful? Hey, let's go. Oh, I have to protect Lyris. Screaming people, screaming pain, yay! Freedom! <laughs> I remember this feeling. It will be fitting though if Molog Bal has his way. That's cool. Thank the divines, you are safe. There is that at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. I trust her more to know how to bash at Idra, Mini. Can we find a way to take her with us? This one would feel safer. I wish that were possible, but 
I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. Vestige? That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That's so very dark souls like humanity restored in a few minutes. Why does Lyris call you the prophet? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years Light. of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. True name is lost like Bing Bong. This one understands you, prophet. So what's that anchor? The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. Okay. Your walking cane is not up to the norms. That's not a good idea. Up the stairs quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. Bye, Loris. We'll be back. Imagine how cool it would be because actually some dialogue um, changes based on your race. But imagine how cool it would be. There it is. A dark anchor mooring. I will trust you on that one, Amy. But yeah, so imagine just how cool it would be if all the dialogue was fitted for the race. Because Kajit never use um, first person singular pronoun I or me. They always use this one or their own name. The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. You look like you need a shower. You look like you need a hug. I will protect you. Hey. A moment. This. No, you a moment. This one has to collect the loot uh, item set health rings that that is a thing that needs to happen it, it definitely is uh, anyway do we do, do we have other people to like vote on stuff Because, I mean, my initial idea, my initial idea was to have people vote on where I put my stuff, where I put my points, um, and then where I put my skill points. Um, so, well, right now I have three skill points to attribute. Do we keep going with the full magicka thing? Do you want? I mean, you'll tell me. I mean, if you don't tell me soon enough, uh, I will just put them all in magicka because that and that's what people was seem seem to be um, enthusiastic about last time. And we can respect this later anyway, if if desired. Uh, 
I guess this means magic gun. All right. Now let's just look what this is. Catchy, it skills, cut purse, medium armor, and better pickpocketing. Okay. Where's oh, the recovery? But actually, we should probably fill this bar first. So, we're gonna pick up another class thing. So, uh, actually, I could go with the advisabilities, or we could not go with the advisabilities because we are not here to be advised to do advisable stuff. So, stuff we could do a searing strike, such an enemy with a flame, dealing flame, and damage over time. And burning. Okay, that that's is very, very strong. Spiked armor. Okay, so enemies um, harm the sense on us. Damage return. Here we got molten weapons. Charge you and your groups grouped allies weapons with volcanic power to gain major brutality and sorcery. Weapon and spell the mage. We're not gonna be playing with people so wolf elements that kind of sucks it makes an area in front of you that's gonna do the hurty we are going with heavy armor so nobody responding that means I'm gonna put a Okay, nobody's responding at all, so I'm gonna put skill points in places. And with that, I'm go I will consider myself good to go for now. Okay, so. The Dark Angus portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A sky shard? A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. This one is ready. Yay. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly! Collect the sky shard! That's so practical. Imagine if you could just spawn an entire army of these and Great we could Antitosh, just. Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molag Val be denied. Alright. Hey. And we wash the fuck up on Gan Canarthy Roost. That is all that is good. Red Hawk, she finds many worshippers among the catfall sailors. Should Vestige awakens once again. Come here, we must speak. All right. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. How long was this one in gun chess? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. 
The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. Well, that is so nice. What should Bing Bong do now? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. When will this one see you again? I cannot foresee that, not yet. Huh. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Well, so much for being able to th see the future, Prophet. But fine. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Ball looms across all Tamrio, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. How should this one go? You must find your own path. Helpful. Perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that sounds fair because, like, imagine you, you fall into the sea and you could die and someone fishes you out. I mean, maybe you, you would want to go to them and say, thank them or something. You think there are many who need my help? Indeed. I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Bal, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. And what, there are others who would join me in this? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. Uh, bye bye. So, first of all, we are going to look at all the stuff. Oh, okay. So no weapons for us, not for us either, is this for us, this is for us. Uh, this rusty urn clearly originated in Cold Harbor, has been tightly sealed, your name is burnt to the side? What? Uh, that's nice. Um, that's a bow. Finished torment cross. Yeah. Health rings, rings of the broken soul. Okay, so that's for us. Yep. Yep. Ring. Oh, we have a crafty affect. Oh, oh yeah, because we were. Uh, dum dum. Um, anyway, we're not gonna do any crafting. Oh. Why are they screeching? Well, let us go outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that sounds about right. Oh, spiders! You there, wet one? This one needs to speak. <laughs> Did he call us wet one? That's amazing. Welcome to Canardi's Roost, friend. The hurricane must have been very disoriented. So many injured, confused. Keep your voice down. Try not to draw attention. What are you talking about? Razumdari 
is here on a mission of some uh, delicacy. You are just what the Bandari ordered. Between your hands and Raz's good looks, we are certain to see this through. I love you, Raz. <laughs> what kind of help do you need? First, a question. Where did you come from? What? <laughs> I'm a Dominion soldier as so about the shipwreck. No. You wouldn't believe this one if this one told you. If you landed five paces north, you'd have squashed a rat, slipped on its guts, and cracked your head on a signal drop. The whole island would have known of your arrival. So where did you come from, truly? Cold Harbor, Monarch's Bad Ram, he plans to invade her rail. A Daedric Prince, you say? Raz has a nose for lies, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. Hm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? Yes, lie with confidence. <laughs> a straight face and a gleam in your eye. Well done. It is very good right now to fit in. Your sudden arrival, it does not fit in, you understand? Why should this one trust you? You should not. <laughs> you should trust your instincts. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Or, come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. Why are you helping this one? Because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. Okay. So, as I said, I already had a good... Fishy vibes. No, what are you talking about? Commander Karen, the moment... My this recruit survived the shipwreck without injuries. You mentioned something about the shattered shoals, yes? No. Uh, but yeah, so I had a good moment, a good amount of this guy from a DLC. We see him, we see him again later. He's just so like awesome. All the time. He's like, okay, what's the situation? Be honest with me. Too much honesty. I don't like that. <laughs> the situation was shit. Glad you're up and about, recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west, but we've had few survivors trickle in from that direction. What do you need exactly? We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. <coughs> Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around Shattered Shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. He says, what purple thing do you mean this thing right here on my screen, or was it something else before? But this one will do what this one can. Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something about everything, so he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Okay. It seal is this way. Where? What, what way? Razumdar, what way? This was not helpful. Okay. Oh. Above. Yeah. We'll have to construct a special room for the Morning Stone when we bring it back to the Mages Guild. I'm sorry, did you need something? Near the entrance of the gate. I go back. Commander Karius said you return from a nearby temple. Yes, the Temple of the Morning Springs is an old Khajiit ruin not far from here. We excavated the Morning Stone from one of the chambers. 
As you can see, its supply of water appears endless. Did you encounter any sea vipers? What do you mean? Pirates? In an ancient Khajiit temple? Preposterous! All we saw were the undead warriors that overran our camp. Oh, that's so much better. Why were you attacked by the undead? I have no idea. Actually, I have 12 ideas, but they're Shut far up. less fascinating <laughs> than the Morning Stone. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. So what you can so what can you tell this one about sea vipers? Arrogant sea elf pirates. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanathi's roost. Oh, and they have a thing for snakes. But I'm sure we both have more important matters to uh, attend. Uh, if you'd excuse me. Okay, so it's these one, it's these guys. That's a long humanoid right. type creatures. Before you depart, let's meet by the statues north of camp. Okay. Long scaly. By the gate. <laughs> I mean, it might be in some flowers or what was it? Bright purple or something? What the? Okay, what is going on here? I'm not used to seeing so much open space. This is my first sea voyage. That is one weird way to open your sentence. What is that storm cloud? It's that sea elf. Mama, they call them. I think he's doing it just to annoy us. If they just gag him, he couldn't cast his spells. But they need to question him, I suppose. I just hope he doesn't ruin my maps. Oh. Are you a soldier? Me? I guess I am now. In Valenwood, I was a cartographer. You know, a map maker. Oh. When they recruited me for this mission, I thought all I'd be doing is surveying land. Turns out, there's a lot more responsibilities. Oh well. Oh well. Oh god, I'm not gonna start seeing stuff. Stepping is bad. Watch your step, ground walker. Watch your step. Fish. It's incredible how in this game everyone is problematic. Everyone is problematic. Like so many races are problematic because they are deeply racist and even even guys we barely see, we can't play or anything. They, they just committed to the bit of making everyone extremely problematic and quite probably fairly racist. That's incredible. It's uh, the other scrolls involve a lot of wow. These people are all being assholes to each other for no reason. <laughs> there, you see? You fit in and no one will stop you from walking away. But as this one said, there are opportunities here for people that fall from the sky. Yeah, but you see... Um, Kajit, they're problematic because they do drugs. But like, one time they just did so many drugs, they, 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 they went to the moon. So there's... They, they, they are f funny, problematic, but in a funny way. They're not just being twats one way or another. Then well. This one is listening. Il Seal is most impressed with his newest bubble. But the undead are a threat to all of Canarthi's roost. If you want to, you could search the temple of the morning springs, determine how to contain the dead there. Then the locals should see we came here as allies, 
not conquerors. Alright, anything else? Karanith told you how the hurricane dashed the fleet into Canarthi's roost. Now the sea vipers are picking at the bones of our ships. Strange, yes? You could scout the coast, as the mm. commander said. Prove yourself to the soldiers. Where are you headed? Oh, there's far less glamorous work to be done in Mistral, at the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there after you've done what you decide to do. Until then, bright moons guide your steps. Thank Anyway, oh, okay, so we, we get to do three things. And, okay, so what happens? Here we go. Mm. Okay, there's. Wait. Quest, some other reason. Oh, there's only two things. Okay. Only. But yeah, this is pretty much like real life. It is quite true to the thing. Uh. For will and for will. Okay. Joining the Dominion isn't about what is taken from you, but what we gain from each other. Um, you gain companionship with the Bosma the in getting welcomes all who wish to join. in getting treated very badly by the Atma. Honestly, everybody is so problematic and being racist, but the Otma, they, 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 they just win the cake at that game. Like, seriously, nobody is ra racist as efficiently as they are. Oh, pretty, pretty temple with a cat lady in the corner. Do not disturb the ritual, cub. Our harvest depends upon it. Okay. Oh, bright. Tale of the two moons. Oh, light of the twin moons. Shine sweet upon us. Okay. So as the sky falls white on elsewhere, this well, one gives thanks. When the frost forms on the lake, <laughs> when the fires blaze in brightness, when old bones begin to ache, then cats cast out their, bo their booties and fur keeps out the cold. And small moon chases big moon and tells him secrets old. Okay, you don't have to push me while I'm reading um, pre miss, uh, Mrs. Priestress. But then blue skies are as where, when rivers stream with light, when fires die in, ash in ashes, when youth again takes flight, then cats rewrap their booties and come out rich thick manes. And big moon chases small moon and frees her from her chains. That was pretty. Oh yeah, I should look up because it's the night, but um, there's indeed two moons here. I haven't decided from which one um, Bing Bong has fallen. Okay, no, no, up there. Because... Sky shot. Yes. Um, no, you. Uh, Hold. Come no closer. Um, okay. I can't even go further. Uh, horsey. So, I think it, what you might seen earlier was a. Um, cosmetic thing like this. Um, so what do we get? 
I doing it? So it's been just a little over an hour, but it's getting a bit late. I don't know. Do, do we do the thing? More survivors sighted on their Some way up. These the weapons strand. look familiar. Okay, cool. So do do we go and do this? Do we go and do another segment of the quest or do we just stop here? Oh no, I think I think I think we can definitely do another little segment. Oh Lahing Moon's plantation discovered. Okay. Yeah, I mean uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go like this because why not? Hey. Oh, that thing. Kinji? Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh, new skill. Chandelier is atrocious. Yeah, it kinda is. Oh. say this is not a bad time to wait there's no goddamn horses in there are there no no stables huh well I mean I can make use of way shrines and stuff So due to circumstances I suggest we stop the stream right here right now. Uh, that will leave me time to do stuff. Okay, oh let's look oh there's a No there's no harpy. Nothing wrong. Let's see, no harpy here. I say no harpy. Oh, uh, there's a nugget over there. This city. Huh. The wind singer. Actually, I really need to dive into that, but. They gave Khajiits such a rich culture. It's so nice. I would genuinely love <laughs> to live around their place. So much music and stuff, but I've barely you know, seen that. But yeah, anyway, for now, we shall. What the hell are you? What was that thing on your head? Yeah, I shall quit. And we shall see each other next week on Tuesday, bing bong. Well, I mean, I will see him daily to raise that horse riding skill. And on that... Well... So, this was kind of short-ish, but it was nice.
Um, so, we fixed that uh, blunder of sorts of having gone off to elsewhere instead of the <laughs> packed thing. So, we are back on track to uh, some, some story stuff that's going here, here right there where people are not gonna greet us like Oh hey, you! You know me! <laughs> no, I don't know you! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Actually, that happened to me with with Adazundar because I had to do something in the DLC to rush another thing that was a bit complicated and we had to talk about that, but yeah, it was like, oh, my old friend! This is me! And there was a dialogue that was like, Who are you? And it was like, um, we know each other. And I was like, no, we don't know each other. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of realized all of that after the end of the series of that, after we had picked elsewhere, so, whoops. Fixed now, and we have Razumdar, and I'm gonna get more Razumdar than I had before, and I am so happy about that. Um, so, next stream on Friday, given the looks of, the look of things, we are more probably going to be doing some. I mean, I'm going to go back to Final Fantasy XIV and do the Valen Valentine event. Hopefully, there will be more as. I love. <laughs> I love doing that. French accent for the elves. Um, and on Sunday, finally, finally, we are going to have that art and chatting stream and it's gonna be so nice um, I think that's it for tonight so thank you for having come I hope you enjoyed this stream and see you next time bye